is up explorers today well seth was like hey do you want to go to an abandoned place i'm like okay what is it he said it's a house it's on a river and i'm like okay but like what's going on with it like what happened he's like i don't know someone just told me about it. i'm like all right i'm down so that's the plan today we're gonna go find this abandoned house that's in this big open field i guess apparently covered in bushes that has a lake next to it but it's like a good summer day outside i mean it's nice it's sunny it's great we're gonna check it out also again Guys, I got amazing merch. Some of the best merch in the game. It's a little wrinkled right now, you know, but it is what it is. Do you ever have friends and they're like, hey, do you want to go check out this abandoned hospital with me? And they're like, yeah, sure. Why not? Let's go. And then you guys go and you have an amazing time. That could be like today. It could. And if you don't have friends like those, maybe you should get some. You need some excitement in your lives. So moving on, guys, thank you so much for buying all my prints, all my photos. It's been crazy. I did not expect my uh prints to sell out like crazy my bundle packs by four by six photos so when you guys get yours if you guys want to buy a bigger print that you can hang on your wall frame it's going to come in this good and then you're going to get it and it's going to look like this now guys this is premium quality uh photo print printer paper when you get it and open it it's going to look like this so that's like he's here yo where is he there they are they're just waiting for me over there i think it came out better than i thought oh I was surprised too. Yo, this is really good. Yeah, this that's... is really, really good. There's like 20 photos. This is my collection one that's dropping. I'm still uploading more photos. So if you check every day and refresh, there's gonna be new ones and new ones going up. You already know the deal. Exploring vibe, traveling life happened here. This is the good life right here. It is. This is the life we all wanna live. We never stop finding spots to film. Never! <laughs> All right, so I, I did the drone shots first, and by the way, the drone shots like of this area is exactly what I thought of like, using Google Satellites. Freaking beautiful river, a lake, like people are selling strawberries outside, you can pick them, some farmlands. I actually stopped here before and picked up some maple syrup. But we're parked here at this abandoned house, but we're not even going inside this one. I mean, maybe I'll scope it out after, but we're going to another one that we're walking up to now, but this one is just so cool too. There's just so much here in this state that I just don't even know about. I mean, it's wild out here. Weather's good. This is what I like. Vibes are good. Most of the time now I'm chasing more of just good happy vibes than anything. But I don't know, after you do this for so long, I love everything. But sometimes it's not always about like what's in the spot or what's left. It's about like the area and the people around you and things like that. So we're gonna have some fun. This looks like a house you'd see in like a horror movie. Like uh, the Texas Chainsaw Massacre is gonna come out with a chainsaw. You got the farm, the barn, it's all here. Super good. All right, Explorers, we're doing the official intro now. We just kind of went onto the first floor. Really quick, I got a glance at what's here. We're looking at a house that's pretty much like from the 1920s it was built. I go even earlier, but it's not as old because we still have some gas pipes for heating unless these were custom installed in like later down the road. But overall, it's this house is beautiful. It kind of is, is untouched. Uh, maybe some damage from actual like the weather and things like that but this house is a pr it's a pretty big secret actually i don't think anyone really knows about it it sits on a farm we're in a nice beautiful area let's go explore this place check it out i'm loving the vibes what's up it's just like is it all empty it's the rooms are empty because everything is all thrown into like one or two rooms so oh, okay. like everything is here it's just not set up oh, oh okay so I'll, I'll we can scout things out maybe if we want to set something up for an instagram shot if yeah. not just kind of just we're gonna view it first how it is all right first off starting off with this room it's empty but it still gives me that like last of us vibes by the way the game comes out in literally eight days from now super excited got some hardwood flooring really cool now i don't know what happened here though i'm like what the heck's going on stacked with old like framing wood maybe but you do have some wallpaper over there check that out i'm not sure what's good this house is pretty much done for. I think whatever is kind of giving up on it, I have no clue. What is that? I feel like this is something that like they would wear at like a funeral. You know, like how they oh, black, yeah. like a hair tie or something. Yeah. yeah maybe that's what this I is. mean, dude, you got some old mint green dress. Check that out. That looks like something they would wear in the cat in the hat movie. <laughs> <laughs> I'm with it. I'm with it. I mean all their stuff is kind of still here just like you said moved around I haven't been upstairs yet to check it out So we'll just keep moving around and see what's good We're gonna start off in like right before the kitchen area. 
So these are just, to me, just look like straight up antiques. Like, yo, I mean, check this out. The old rat trap. <laughs> what else is good in here? Old tin cans. Like, if you go to, like, old antique stores, you'll see a lot of this stuff for sale in there for, like, five bucks. Like, you know, just, like, little bottles for, like, six dollars sometime. Well, whoever lived here needed glasses. I'm just snooping around, literally. I mean, this caught my attention too. You got some old, oh, I thought this was Coca-Cola. No, this is just bottles of Black Label. <sighs> oh, okay. Dope ice skates. Old shoes. I mean, dude, look at this. Dude, it's stuck to the, the freaking wood. I mean, these are shoes I see in like asylums, like the same kind of like art design. So we're going back like, seriously, like 1930s, 40s. Some dope roller skates. You found something good? Oh, bad. Dude, and don't even get me started with the fridge, yo. I like that retro fridge, 1950s fridge. Okay, now I'm getting excited. What else do we got around here? Looks like the owners too are also like just working on the house, maybe redoing it. Like, dude, I've never even seen this. An old well to, to pump the water? Look at that, check this out. Is that what that is, Beth, right? Oh, what do you know, right? That's definitely water. Right? That's fire. Those are farm things. Yup. She lives on a farm, that's yeah. why I asked her. I think that's like an old gun case. Hang on. Ah, oh, nothing's in it. We're never there first. I hear stories of people finding guns and old stuff, but they always like jack them or something. Is it? Oh, well, you're on a farm, dude. You can have the wife beater. <laughs> Someone's birthday reminder. And obviously the marker still works. We're now moving on into the kitchen. <laughs> From all the like overgrown grass. It's like shining green through here, reflecting off the light. But dude, check, I mean, dude, it's it's nice. Old school. Mmm. All their silverware still in there. Nothing's really kind of thrown around. I mean, dude, you can find some random things in here. What is this? Oh, this is an old fuse? I thought it was a shotgun bullet at first. Guys, they were probably making the best pies ever, like my grandma would make. I feel like this is the kind of place that they would take the pie and just put it, like, by the window to let it cool down. An animal would steal it. Like, that's, that's the vibes I'm getting. That's a new oven. Man, I'm seeing, like, old knickknacks in glass cups that, like, my grandma would have. Yo, look at that old can opener. I doubt these, uh, foods are still good. We're gonna save the basement for last. No way I'm going down there yet. Looks like there would be literally dead bodies in there. Okay, we found a book of Hiroshima. This is fresh. Domino's Pizza, the delivery book. Look how old that is. <laughs> for some reason, I just wanna like make this kitchen look like it's new again, like a time capsule. So I'm gonna move things around and see if I can get a good shot of it. I'm not sure if I can, but I'm gonna start like moving things. Yo, certificate of death. I've never seen an actual death certificate. Okay, I'll zoom in on this for you. That's kind of wild. The things you find when you snoop around and look around and see things. That's what I'm saying, like we came here literally not knowing what was gonna be here and now we're just reading things, seeing like, getting an idea of the owner who used to live here and just going with the flow. Like a lot of times people come to these old houses and they kind of like redecorate it to make it look nice for photos. I kind of want to try it, but we'll see what I can get done here. All right guys, voila. This is what we got set up now. Now, there's a lot of other props we can use in this room, but I think this is a good setup. Yo, come on, explorers, you gotta admit, this looks a lot better than before. 
This place was like completely ransacked, it looked like. Now we kind of set it up nice, and like now we can get some cool photos, some cinematic shots, and things like that. Now, I usually never set rooms up. I'm usually like second last or whatever to hit uh, houses. So I never have to set rooms up. They're already kind of set up from other people. Or sometimes we go to places, actually half the time we go to places, they're already still set up because we're probably the first or, and they just look so nice still because the way it was, like a time capsule. This is just one place that either the owner would just kind of left it as is or not, regardless. I set this up and other people might come here and maybe move things around, but it's pretty dope. I'm going to try to get some photos now of this place. Uh, obviously, you guys know I sell photos. and We're going to see what we're going to do with it. Uh, I might keep this one open. I don't think it works no more. There's a thing. How does it work? I think it's just so old it don't work. All right, Explorers. So this is what we also just found. The oldest, creepiest doll for sure. I used it and I took like a ton of different photos with it. It kind of set this room up pretty good from what it used to be till now. I'm very happy with it, but let's go see what else is going on now. You haven't seen the rest of the house. So in the living room, we got a cool orange, actually no, yellow chest. But then check it out, we got this spooky doll with an old magazine. Looks like a, I don't even know if that, see that's like a fake mask. And that's like a real guy's eyes. I don't know what's good. Seashells, glasses, some Coke poster, Coca-Cola poster. But this place is actually set up nice. And that's the green dress we were already looking at. Let's go in here. Putting my light on maxed out. Yo, check out that old freaking vacuum. Whoa. Huge calendars up there. I like this setup. You can get some cool photos here if you wanted to set something up. So with this shot, you've seen how this place looked, how there was notes and papers everywhere and it was just a lot of stack of clothes here and it just looked kind of weird. I set up for a perfect photo and it took me like another hour. I've never been in a house this long in my life because again, I don't have time to just sit and stack up and move things around. But again, it, to me, this is, it, for urban exploring, this is still a form of art. Like many people might disagree and be like, oh, you should leave it where it is, blah, blah, blah. And I get that, I really do. But, but a lot of times they've already been moved before we did. This is just, I've never, this is actually the second time in my life I've ever actually set up a room for a photo. But I'm actually enjoying it. To me, it's kind of like an art style. I think it's still art. I think it goes with what I'm doing and I really do enjoy it. So I set this whole room up the way I liked it. I'm gonna move it around now just in case Seth and them tries to steal my shots. You know, these are my shots. Yo, get, get out of here. What do you mean? <laughs> get your own shots. I didn't steal your shots. Get your own shots. What do you mean? I just moved it around a little bit. Did you see how I did? I liked, I liked yours, but I, I felt like for you, I, I'd rather you have a fresh mind than, than what I did, so I want to see what you can do to change it. You didn't even use it. I know I didn't, see? No one knows what I got. Oh, look what I found, look what I found. Watch. You didn't right. find nothing, I, I saw that already. Oh, the, yeah, but we might better use the vacuum if we wanted for another shot. Check this one out, dude. This is like the retro, really, really rare vacuums. Oh, I, I stuff that's on it. It's probably got spiders everywhere. I don't know, but we can definitely there. use that. All right, so I showed... Wait, what are you doing? Don't give him ideas. Don't give him ideas. I want to see what he can get. All right. Don't take the shot I did. I don't need your ideas, okay? Okay. I know what I'm doing. I do this for a living. Okay. How about ideas? Okay, okay. All right, you guys are photographers. Get your own ideas. Gosh. We'll try to steal my good ideas, you know what I mean? Like, I'm coming up with these super hot fire stuff. I think it's good, put a lot of time into it. But, it's all good. So he's gonna walk around with a freaky doll? These are actually really rare, I'm not even kidding. Are they? What are they called? They're called Rushton dolls with the hard face and the soft body. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, it looks like... Uh, they had a kid, girl or boy, I don't know yet. Actually, no, it's gotta be a girl, what the heck? Look at their baby clothes. The investigation is getting real. 
All right, we're finally done with the living room. We did the kitchen. We did that crazy room where I got the super dope shop. We cleaned the kitchen out, like we said. We didn't go in the basement yet. It's finally time we go upstairs. I've been in this house so long just taking photos that I forgot about actually filming the YouTube video still. Photos could be a job on its own, seriously. This is where we did our intro. <clears throat> well, let's go up. Ouch. All right, this is where the sinister vibe happens. I'm gonna see a projector screen come. Whoa, what happened here? They just like chucked everything in here. All empty like the bottom floor. Whoa, there's a hole through it. What the hell? This is kind of cool though. I mean, there could be a dead body behind this door, but they nailed it shut. It's not my business. Hold up, there's an attic. Some books already coming off the ground. One says the visual experience. Dang, it's hot in here. Oh God, I got blinded by the light. Yo, I don't even, I don't know if anyone else has been in the attic, but no one has told me about this. What the heck is this? Freaking huge doll? A dog doll? I've never seen, oh, it's scary, I just feel like it's alive. Did you guys see this? This huge dog doll? What? Like massive. That's mad big, right? That's like Clifford on like steroids. Drugs. <laughs> Dude, yeah, it's creepy. I felt I just thought like when I first seen it, it was like a dead guy in it. This huge dog doll? Like this is I used to have this when I was a kid. It was powered by electric car or something. You make tracks and the car would go. Does anyone else remember this? This I've never had though when I was a kid. I don't know what this is. This might be way older than me. Oh yeah, the guy yeah, the guy here owned a whole farm. Again, the, it's just the vibes of being here. So cool. We've seen every room because there's not much except on the first floor. But there's one thing we saved for last. It's the basement. Time to go in there. See what's good. Longest I've been in a house for sure. I'm starting to really get sweaty. Woo! While this is all going down, they're still inside there trying to get a shot. Like, they're still in there trying to beat my shot. It's all musty in here. I'm getting like this old like trailer musty smell, but summer day vibes as well. It's actually, it's cool. It's reminding me, you guys ever like smell a smell and like these old memories hit you? That's kind of what I'm smelling right now. And wait, once again, showing off the kitchen that we changed. Look how dope that looks. Woo! Casey's gonna show me a magic trick. Yeah, so okay, okay. go ahead, pick a card. Okay, wait, I'm picking this secret one right here. Okay, we, we and the viewer remember it. Yeah? Yep. Okay, go ahead, put it anywhere in the deck. Like, okay, you can right chuck it in there, yep. All right, all right so I'm gonna, I'm gonna do a little razzle-dazzle. Okay, <laughs> little razzle-dazzle. And I'm, gonna, I'm just gonna shuffle it as, okay. as you need. Yep. Yeah, there you go. Like zooming in, making sure I ain't doing anything sneaky. No, not yet. That's not yet. Okay. Um, okay. I'm gonna try to do something cool. Okay. It's probably not gonna work. Okay. I'll still try. Okay. Alright, so I did that. Yep. Ready? This is this is this is where it's important. Now there's one I forgot this one. But there's one card left. Go ahead, flip it over. Oh! <laughs> Yo, no, you still did it. Did you she shoot? got. I didn't see how you did it, okay. but that was my card. Guys, link in the description below. Tell me how she did it. Last but not least, the basement. Oh, God. Oh, I almost. I thought the uh, stair was giving up on me and breaking. Oh, it's cold down here and musty. Oh. <coughs> it doesn't smell that good. Just looking through, grilling stuff. Okay, what is this? It's a stick figure. 
Someone put a heart and drew a heart in him. And there's a dart in him. Someone was throwing darts at this dude. Explorers, if I die, like and subscribe. I risk my life for you in this video. Whoa! Get out of here! This isn't, uh, is that like a voltage? What is this? Some sort of electricity uh, meter thing for what? When you press these buttons down, it would it would move something? Go, this guy, it was some sort of train that was down here, like a whole train railroad track mechanism. Look at this, this is surprising to find down here. It was all fully powered. It was all fully powered, I think, by this. Okay, moving down. Just moving slow. I feel like if I see any dead body, it'd be in this house. Usually, I think, you know, if, if I had to kill someone, I'd probably just bury them under here and cement them or something. So I don't think they'll just be a, just a random dead body just chilling, right? But I'm just saying, if I was thinking as a killer, that probably would have would have did. We spent about three and a half hours inside here. We cleaned up the rooms, we got some cool photos, and we had a good time just vibing out in the farmlands. Guys, we're kind of like from the city in some bigger towns, so like, coming out here, getting away from things, is like really like therapeutic, especially being in abandoned places are already therapeutic for just being here and combining both together makes this place cool. Um, I had a good time in here. Uh, what we know is that the owner died. Uh, I was right about kind of like the year this place was built, like 1920s, like early 1900s. Rest in peace the guy who lived here. I don't know what's going on. I don't know its current state of what's happening with this place, but overall I did appreciate the artwork and things here and I had a good time just vibing out with the homies. Um, if you want to see the Instagram pictures, they're on my Instagram, link in the description down below. Maybe uh, if one came out good or better than I thought, like the one in that room, I'm going to post on my website to sell it. We'll see how that goes. Overall, dope times here. Love this place. And we're going to end it right here, guys. Got merch for sale. You already know. We got, we're, we're, I'm repping Beyond the Dark now. Uh, bang, bang. So without further ado, guys, thanks so much for watching. Stay tuned to the next episode. Who knows what crazy adventures we're going to go on next. Rise above. Just get out there and explore. Peace and thanks for watching. Don't. Get out, man. Don't. Get out. Don't. Get out. <laughs> Still waiting to see his results.